Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel SJ Com Tech. Today's my topic is conversion of decimal number to the binary number system. So, if any decimal number is given, then how to get the its equivalent binary number? Suppose the given decimal number is twenty-eight, and now we want to convert it into binary. So, this question mark represents the we want to convert it into the binary what is process to convert the decimal number into the binary first thing we should know what is base of the number system in which we are going to convert that number so here we are going to convert the decimal number into binary so base of the binary is 2 now the next step is whichever decimal number is given we have to divide that number by 2 until we don't get the quotient as 0 and at the same time we have to keep track of the remainders and at the end we have to collect all the remainders from bottom to top. So now I will explain it with the help of this example how to convert the given decimal to the binary. Given decimal number, draw the structure like this, write the given decimal number here. We have to divide this number by 2 as we are going to convert it into binary. And here we will keep track of the remainder also because at the end we have to collect all the remainders. Now divide this divide this 28 by 2. So here we will, get, we will get the quotient as 40 because 28 is completely divided by 2. The remainder will be 0. Now again divide this 14 by 2. Quotient is 7 and this number is completely divisible by 2. That is 2 into 7 equal to 14. So, no remainder is there. So, write the remainder as 0. Now, next process. 2. 2 into 3 equal to 6. So, 3 is quotient and the remainder is 1. Again, divide this 3 by 2. 2 into 1 equal to 2. So, here write 1. And then the remainder will be 1. Now, here you can see the quotient is 1, divisor is 2. This number, quotient is smaller than the divisor, so we cannot divide this 1 by 2. So, when we reach at this stage, we have to write the quotient as 0 directly and take this value as a remainder here. Now, collect all these remainders from bottom to top. And this is nothing but the equivalent binary of the given decimal number. So, here I will write now instead of question mark, I will write the binary equivalent that is triple one double zero. One 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 double zero and its base is two. So, this is very simple process. Keep on dividing the given decimal by the base. Here base is two of binary and keep on dividing until we don't get the quotient as zero and at the end Collect all the remainders from bottom to top. So, this is the binary equivalent of the given decimal. So, this is the first type or type 1 to convert the decimal to binary. Now, I will explain the second method or second type also how we can convert the decimal to the binary. We will take the same decimal number there because at the end we can verify both the binary equivalent whether whatever answer we are getting that is correct or not. So the decimal number is 28 here. We want to convert this number into the binary. Okay. So in second method what we have to do? First of all we have to write the weighted values of the number system in which we are going to convert the number. So here the in binary we are supposed to convert. So we should know the weighted values of the binary. Now the weighted values of binary are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. As per requirement we can increase to the left side. Okay. Now what we have to do here? We have to select those weighted values. If we add the selected weighted values, we should get the result as 28. So, select the weighted values in such a way that when at the end when we add those values, 
the decimal number should be 28. So select 16. 16 plus 8 is 24. So select this. 8 also. 16 plus 8, 24. 24. Again select this 4 also. So it will become 28. Now no need to select this 2 and 1. So whichever weighted values are selected below it write 1. And below the non-selected values write 0. So its binary equivalent is triple 1 double 0. Now here I will take one more example in type 2. Before that we will verify whether the, uh, we are getting the correct result or not in both the types. Now see in the type 1 the decimal uh, number is 28. Its binary equivalent is triple 1 double 0. Here also we are getting the triple 1 0. That means our result is correct. Now let me take one more example for the type 2. Suppose the example is 30. Not. I will take 29. I will make this part rough. Let me take another example. 29 decimal. What is its binary equivalent? Okay. Again write the weighted values 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So for the 29 obviously we have to select the 16. Then 16 plus 8 equal to 24. So select this also. 24 plus 4, 28. Now in 28 if we add 2 it will become 30. Which is greater than this 29. So no need to select these two. Select 1. So what is addition of these selected weighted values? 16 plus 8, 24, 24 plus 4, 28 and 28 plus 1, 29. So, below the selected weighted values write 1 and non-selected write 0. So, the binary equivalent of this given number is triple 1, 0, 1. 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, this is how very simple how to convert the decimal to the binary number system so if you like this video please click on like subscribe my channel and click on notification uh, bell icon to get the notification and my next video will be about conversion of decimal to the octal number system thank you